Hey guys, welcome back to another Payday 2 video. Oh, today I am honestly showing you guys what my net new favorite Payday 2 console build is. Now, it's using the heavy crossbow with increased total ammo, which is very powerful, and a compact 40mm grenade launcher. For those that have DLC, you can use the Arbiter, but at least it keeps you at 14 or 12 concealment. As well, as well we're going to be using these perks. We're also going to be keeping our concealment low for crits and dodge to be active. As well, we're going to be using medic bags, a two-piece suit for dodge, and molotov cocktails for big groups of enemies. This build is very good for death sentence heists. I wouldn't advise for one down, but you could if you're feeling confident, as the medic bags also give you a very good chance of surviving longer. Now, as I'm booting up Cook-Off, this is my gameplay showing you how powerful this build is for those that want to see. Alright, so here we go. Now as you see here, I use the Compact 40 to remove these guys that are bunched together. As I show you later in the heist, I do use this for clearing out lots of enemies. Now this build is mainly used when you will have lots of shelter, like lots and lots of cover around you. It doesn't usually go very well if you're out in the open, so that's why this build is usually used for solo games, like offline games. But if you prefer to go with an online version, you could switch out the compact 40mm grenade launcher and switch it with either an SMG or another long range secondary. For in, however, in this build, I don't have Inspire Ace. The reason is because this is a solo build, but you can add it if you want to be more of a useful like utility for your teammates so you can revive them further away. The main purpose of the crossbow is mainly to deal lots of damage. As well, when they're combined with crits, they do quite a massive chunk of damage. And as I said earlier, the Compact 40 is used for clearing out lots of enemies, so when you see a ton of enemies around, make sure to utilise it. I made a mistake here by firing at a wall, but you have to be very careful. At least have a bunch of medic bags around, laid the, like, around the area, so you have to be incredibly careful. This, be this build does have some flaws, but I would place down the medic bags around a close proximity of where the objective is or along where you're going. The crossbow is very useful as well for taking out bulldozers on death sentence difficulty. With the crits and your teammates behind you, you're at least sure to take out a bunch before you either A go down or B finish off the dozer. Taking enemies hostage and converting them is very important in this build. Due to hostage taker, you do in fact gain ticks of health back the longer they are by your side. And as well with Joker Aced, you then have two converted by your side. They also do a bit of damage even while you're regenerating or you're off reloading. They could either keep them by your side by either letting them do damage to other enemies around you or you could either trap them in a place and you're passively. You see now I get into a bit of a pickle as I haven't got my compact 40mm grenade launcher reloaded but I have one medic bag left, so I decide to place it down and when I'm in trouble, so you know, I can either place it when you're in lots of danger and you're desperately needing it, either on a grey screen, or you could place it down in different places to help others or yourself. One of the other flaws is that this build has got a bit of a problem with snipers, so that's, I, that's why this build is usually used when there's lots and lots of cover around. But you could still take out snipers if you're a very good shot. Or, you could ask your teammate to do it if you're playing online. In the final part of the heist, there wasn't a lot of cover, so I had to use my Compact 40 to clear out the enemies. I ran out of ammo, so you could switch out stuff for ammo bags in case you're going out for air like wide areas and places with not a lot of cover. Luckily, my teammates were here to help me, so I turned around, grabbed a bit of ammo, just about secured all three bags. So, this build is quite good if you're very good with your aim and there's a lot of, not a lot of open areas. So yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you later. Bye.